It's uh, April, and uh, this is an April poem. Uh, two Earth Day poems. I was around for the first Earth Day. The first poem is called Bell Bottoms and Gas Masks, April 22nd, 1970. As millions took to the streets to celebrate Earth Day, I spread a copy of the New York Times on my studio apartment floor, scotch tape pages together, formed a canvas for a new creation. I asked Christine to take off her tattered nightgown, the only thing that fit her these past few months, to lay down on the newspaper so I could outline round her very pregnant body, make a pattern, cut out, and sew something she could wear to get out of the apartment, go see a doctor, make plans for delivering her baby. Christine got knocked up, kicked out of her house, moved in next door with the baby's father, Stephen. No health insurance, jeans and tie-dye tees, clothes I lent her, no longer an option, too tight like everything in her life. As she lay, arms outstretched, as if nailed to a cross, I spot an article about mercury poisoning our fishes, lakes, us. Just above her shoulder, words in bold letters, the times are changing. Easing the red crayon across newsprint, pressing hard for a clear image, my fingertips slide past more issues plaguing the nation. Smog in Yosemite, garbage dumped in the Hudson, DDT in our food. Beneath her right armpit, the photo of a gas mask guy sniffing a blossoming magnolia. Beside her breast, a story on Rachel Carson's The Silent Spring. Paul Ehrlich's The Population Bomb. Man-made disasters, one after another. I cut out the image, pinned the pattern to fabric that once was an old dark curtain panel. Determined to recreate, make something old, new, change what was, help make things better for the next generation. Wow. Now, that was Christine's story. Stephen was her, the baby's father, and this is uh, Earth Day. Stephen rings the bell, asks if I have any pot. He needs to turn on to turn off, says it's Earth Day, mercury everywhere, no future for his unborn baby. He tells me I'm blind, stuck in a tunnel, going nowhere, says, get high with me. Years later, stalled at the Midtown Tunnel, a horn honks, breaks my thoughts about an opening address for my global logistics class. I cruise through the tunnel, and I am turned on, tuned in. Today is Earth Day, says the DJ on the radio, and I think, 23 years, so many changes. I turn off onto 6th Avenue, find a garage, hand a parking attendant the key to my Mercury Comet and I am high. <laughs>